welcome to Naresh IT. This is Kishore and today we are going to discuss about C in. Okay. Today we are going to start about C in in C++. In previous session, we have discussed how the C out is working. Actually, the C out is nothing but a printf function in C language. Generally, in C language, for output purpose, we are using majorly printf. Now, that printf is equivalent to our C out in C++ and as usual for input purpose, we are using scanf function there and here we are going to use cn. Now, I am going to give how the cn is going to work. Actually, cn is a predefined object. Already we have discussed that C is a function oriented programming language. C is a function oriented programming language. That means, there everything is going on functions, but here C++ is a object oriented. Here the major concept is going on objects and to manage the input output operations also in C++ they have introduced uh, some objects called C out and C in and here C out C in are called uh, predefined objects. C out C in are called predefined objects and they are available in O stream class and I stream class. Okay, already we have discussed that C out belongs to O stream class and now C in belongs to I stream class and these classes are available in I O stream dot H. All these classes are available in I O stream dot H. That is why whenever you are going to work with uh, C out or C in, first of all you have to include I O stream dot H. Now, I am going to give the syntax of C in, how the C in is working. Okay. First, so watch this. First, uh, it is a, a predefined. Okay. Now, I am going to give the C in, how this one is working. Okay. See this. Okay. First of all, C in is a predefined object. Okay. It is a predefined object. Next, uh, C in always refers standard input device that is keyboard. That means, scanf is generally used for scanf is generally used for input purpose. Okay. Similar to that one, C in is also used for input purpose. That is why here input device is which one? keyboard. That is why here C in always refers standard input device that is keyboard. Next, C in is available in which class that is nothing but I stream. That is why here C in is available in I stream class and here the point is I stream is a predefined class. I stream is a predefined class and it is available in iostream.h. C in is available in iStream class and C in is available with uh, iStream class. Okay, C in is available with uh, iStream class. Next, uh, here I am giving the syntax that means how this one is working. Later we are going for some more. First syntax C in greater than greater than variable greater than greater than variable and so on. Now, it is the working style of scene. Here, scene is the predefined object. Okay. Here, scene is the predefined object. Next, uh, greater than greater than is called what? Here, greater than greater than is called extraction operator greater than greater than is called extraction operator. Next, uh, it is also called input operator. Next, uh, it is also called get from operator. Okay. Here, greater than greater than is called extraction operator, input operator, get from operator and it is also called means it is a overloaded right shift operator. 
greater than greater than is called it is a overloaded right shift operator and here the point is generally we are using greater than greater than symbol in bitwise operators ok. Here greater than greater than is a bitwise operator and for bitwise operations uh, we are using greater than greater than. The same greater than greater than is also used with uh, scene that is why it is called overloaded right shift operator. And now I am going to give some examples on C n how they are going to be work say this ok. Suppose there is two variables we are having two variables one is integer variable and one is floating variable here we are having two variables. Now I want to read some values for a and b ok here I want to read the values for a and b then how the C n is implemented first uh, I want to read the value for a then C in greater than greater than a that is it. Next I want to read the value for b then C in greater than greater than b. Now the first value is entered into a second value is entered into b and here one important point we have to discuss that is suppose the same thing is happened with the scanf suppose the same thing we are going to conduct with the scanf then what is the program? Here we have to write like this scanf percentage d comma ampersand a and here scanf percentage f ampersand b. Now both the statements are same ok. Here in C language we are using scanf in C++ we are using C in and here in another important thing we can use the scanf in C++ also ok. We can use either scanf or C in both uh, that means we can use both uh, in C++ but here the difference is what see this here percentage d percentage f generally they are called conversion characters which are also familiar with uh, format specifiers they also called format specifiers. Now here watch it in scanf there is a conversion character but here in scene there is no conversion because of in scene implicit conversion is there ok. Remember this in scene we are having implicit conversion. Now what is called implicit conversion? Whenever the operation is conducted internally it is called implicit conversion that is why here what happened automatically a value is treated as integer and b value treated as float that is why for C in there is no need of any conversion character or format specifier it is the first difference. Next second difference here in scanf we should have to use address operator ok in scanf we should have to use ampersand which represents the variable address but here watch it there is no ampersand symbol that means C in does not require any address operator. Now these are the two major differences in between the C in and scanf ok. Scanf requires conversion characters and address operator but C in does not require any conversion character or address. Next suppose I want to read both values at a time okay by using single c in i want to read the two values then it is the thing c in greater than greater than a greater than greater than b now first value is going to store in a second value automatically stored in b and here also we are using space bar enter key tab key as the separators but don't use the comma that is why here the main point is to enter different values we have to enter either space space bar or enter key or tab key but do not use the comma operator. Next here in this scene how many greater than greater than or extraction operators I have used two at a time it is called cascading that is why cascading refers to be using of more than one insertion or extraction operators using of more than one insertion or extraction operators is called cascading. 
it is how the scene is going to be work in our program. Now, I am going to give how the manipulators are going to be work. Now, first of all what is called manipulation? That is manipulation generally means what? Modifying, changing that means by using manipulators we can edit or we can change the output, we can change the output of printing. See this, for example, I am going to use some of the manipulators. For example, everybody knows in C language to print the matter in different lines, we are going to use slash n, slash n which is called backslash character or escape sequence character. Now, in place of backslash n, here they have provided n del. Okay. Now, n del is called, it is a manipulator and to get the spaces, we are going to use their percentage 4D, percentage 0.82 like that, but instead of that one, they have given set W. Now, all these are called manipulators, that is why manipulator means which manipulates the output or result, that is why they are used to change the output style and all these manipulators belongs to iomanip.h. Now, I am going to give iomanip.h and iomanip.h generally contains what? Manipulators, okay. manipulators are used to format the output. Now, I am going to give one by one all the manipulators. Okay. Now, our topic manipulators, generally manipulators are used for output purpose means uh, formatted output they are used for formatted results or outputs. Okay. Next, here we are having two types of manipulators, one is manipulator operators, second one is manipulator functions, one is manipulator operator, another one is manipulator function and here what are the manipulator operators? We are having two manipulator operators, one is L another one is end s. Okay. Here end l and end s both are called manipulator operators. Next uh, manipulator functions, now we are having different manipulator functions and the first function is set w, next uh, second one is set fill and next one is set precision and next one is set IOS flags. Okay. Generally, we are using this kind of manipulator functions set w, set fill, set precision, set IOS flags and all they are called manipulator functions and end l and end s are called manipulator operators. Now, what is end l, what is end s, what is everything one by one we are going to discuss and here all they belongs to all they belongs to Ivo manip dot h. Okay. Here all they are belongs to Ivo manip dot h, but here one point we have to okay, discuss that is here end l and end s are called manipulator operators. Whenever you are going to work with the manipulator operators, there is no need of Ivo manip dot h. Okay. It is not mandatory remember this, whenever you are going to work with end l and end s, there is iomanip.h is completely optional that is it is not mandatory, but whenever you are going to work with uh, manipulator functions, it should be provided that is why it is mandatory for all these functions. Okay. For these two, it is not required, but all for all these, it is compulsory you have to provide. And one more thing, all these manipulators are working on C out and C out belongs to which header file that is IO stream dot h. Okay. Here all the manipulators are working on C out, that is why here C out is used to formatted outputs. Now the point is whenever you are using C out, then we are going to use IO stream dot h. Okay. That is why C out belongs to I O stream not H and all the manipulators are working on C out. That is why here one interesting thing is 
whenever you are using the manipulators. IO manip dot h is especially required for functions. IO manip dot h is required for manipulator functions. Now, when IO manip dot h is there, there is no need of a IO stream dot h. Okay. Here one important thing is when IO manip dot h is used in our program, then there is no need of a IO stream dot h because of IO manip dot h works on C out results. C out belongs to IO stream dot h that means internal IO manip dot h manipulates C out that is why there is no need of IO stream dot h. Okay. It is an important point. Next, uh, the first operator we are going to discuss is endl. What is called endl? Generally, to print the output in different lines, we are going to use slash n. But in C++, in place of slash n, they have introduced endl operator. But uh, both are giving the same result. Then what is the difference? Okay. Now, generally, they are asking what is the difference between endl and slash n. Okay. Here, we have to discuss two differences between endl and slash n. Now, first thing slash n. Actually, slash n is called, it is a backslash character. Generally, slash n is called backslash character. Okay. And here endl, it is called manipulator. Okay. It is the first difference. Generally, slash n is called backslash character and endl is called manipulator. Next, second difference, every backslash character takes one byte that is why slash n takes one byte memory, but here no bytes required. That is why here backslash character slash n occupies one byte memory, but it does not occupy any memory. These are the two differences in between slash n and endl. Okay. And here interesting thing is we can use both in C++. We can use either slash n or endl both uh, in C++ program also. Okay. But uh, slash n whenever you are using slash n you can enter slash n after the text directly. But uh, whenever you are using endl it should be separated with uh, less than less than. Okay. Whenever you are using endl, it should be represented with endl. For example, I am going to use small example. See this. Suppose I am going to write C out Naresh IT. Okay. Here slash n and here C out Hyderabad. Now, what happened after executing this program? Naresh IT is printed in first line. Now, slash n means program moved to, means cursor moved to next line. In next line, which one is printed? Hyderabad. Here watch it, the slash n is entered inside the double quotations. Now, of course, you can use like this also, double quotations slash n. This one also gives the same result, but it is not mandatory and we can enter slash n inside the quotations directly. But here, whenever you are using endl, it should be represented like this. Now, I am giving it is slash n example and now endl. Whenever you are using endl, c out Naresh IT, next endl. It should be separated with uh, less than less than means uh, insertion operator. Later c out Hyderabad. Now both are giving same results, there is no change in result. But the only difference is here we have entered slash n inside the quotations followed by the text. But here it is separated with the insertion operator. That is why endl is used to okay, place the text in next line. It is equivalent to slash n. Next, there is another operator called endes. Now, what is called endes? Now, endes means what? Here, endes means uh, ending space. That means what? Suppose, here I am going to write like this C out A B. Later, I want to write the C D, but I want to maintain one space in between A B and C D. Then, here it is the procedure. That is it. 
Now, C out less than less than A B less than less than N dash less than less than C D. Now, what happened? First of all, A B printed. Later, one space only one space it is going to add and later C D. Generally, in C language we are having slash T for tab space okay, for tab space which gives 3 or more spaces which gives 3 or more spaces. But here my requirement is only one space here my requirement only one space then we are going to use n s okay. that is why whenever you want to separate one object from another object just use the n s and n s also one of the operator and it does not require any i o manip dot h okay. without i o manip dot h also it is working it is the important thing. And now it is about uh, n del and n s that means we have discussed uh, the manipulator operators right now. Now in next session we are going to discuss about uh, manipulator functions okay thank you thank you for watching. Thank you.